In this video, I'm gonna show you how to SSH on Windows, and we're gonna do this natively. You won't have to install or download anything. The only requirement is you need Windows 10 or above. So let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, so um, typically in the past, you'd have to download and install something like PuTTY to make an SSH connection to a remote server, but here in Windows 10 and above, we can simply do that through the command prompt. So go ahead and open that up. And if you wanna to check to see if you have SSH installed, do where SSH. And if you get back a path on, on your local system that says ssh.exe, then you have it installed. But in the cases where you don't have SSH installed, you're gonna to have to enable it. So what we wanna do for that is to search for settings, open up the settings app. Inside of here, go to apps. Under apps and features, go to optional features. And what you're gonna to have to do is add a feature. Now, since I already have it, you'll search for open SSH since I already have it. Um, you'll see something in here called open SSH client. You don't need the server, you just need the client. So go ahead and check that box again for open SSH client and then install that. Since I already have that installed down here in the installed list, I can show you that open SSH client, okay? And once you do that, then you can come back over into the command prompt do where SSH and that'll show you where it is installed at. So now, since we have that all taken care of, let's set up a remote server. You might already have one that you are, can connect to, but I'm gonna show you how to set one up if you don't. So uh, I'm logged in here to Vulture, vulture.com. I have some free credits down below if you wanna get started with them. This allows you to spin up a, uh, a server, an SSH server somewhere running Ubuntu, uh, for example. So I'm gonna click on this cloud compute option. I'm gonna, I'm in Tucson, Arizona, Arizona so I'm gonna pick the data center in Los Angeles. Um, I'm gonna pick Ubuntu 20.04. And this entry level $5 per month plan is sufficient for me. So um, let's go ahead and deploy that server. So that'll just take a minute, so we'll fast forward through this. Okay, and now you can see here that I have a remote Ubuntu server at this IP address. So what we're gonna do is copy that IP address, come back over to our command prompt, and the basic way to connect to a remote SSH server is SSH, and then the username. In this case, it's gonna be root at that IP address. Go ahead and hit enter and it's gonna prompt you for a, uh, it's gonna ask you, do you trust the connection? This is a one-time yes or no answer. I do trust it, and now it's gonna ask you for the password. So over here, if we click on our server, uh, like I said, the username is root, and here's the password, so I'm gonna copy the password, come back over here, Control V to paste it in, hit Enter, and that did not work, so <laughs> let me try that again, copy the password. Uh, this time I'll try to right click, there we go, right click, edit, paste, hit enter. And now we are connected to our remote server. Again, this is an Ubuntu server, we can confirm that with uname, dash A, and there we go. So that is essentially how you connect to an SSH server from Windows command line natively using Windows 10 or above. If you want to get out of your session, you can type in exit. I forgot to tell you about that. That's all you need to know. If you want to learn how to copy files to the remote server from your local computer, check out this video next, and I'll see you over there.